Hey, America, this is John and Davey. Uh, we're doing a different type of podcast. Um, yeah, it's what very we wanted to do. What? Let's say it's very different now that the world's ending. It's, it's you know, it's a new era of podcasting. Well, I don't think the world is ending with the corona. I think it's just people have to put their selfish intentions aside. I mean, it, it sucks that, you know, that we have to just imagine if people just stayed inside, not, not, not for 14 days, but for four days and just ate food and watch Netflix. I think it would curb it. I mean, I don't understand the 14 day thing, but I'm not an expert. But it would, I, I think, it would have been as bad if people would have just gotten four or five days worth of rations, not a month's worth, all in the same day. Yeah, it's not. The world is it. Like, I think people. Well, I think. Okay, sorry about that. My thumb. We we'll cut all that out. Just, uh, <laughs> nope, it's staying in. No, just kidding. Good, good. <laughs> uh, I think the problem is like with people is people like you. All if you have a good immune system, you have a good immune system. But nobody really knows if they have a good immune system. Just because you lift weights doesn't mean you have a great immune system. I mean, let's let's be real. I mean, people get cancer and HIV and sick all the time. Like, and it's not the same thing, but people still get the flu when they they have muscles and they their body is ravaged. Like, it's not. I think that's the like in my mind, it's like people are like, well, if I have a, but nobody, everybody says they have like, oh, I have a good immune system. Do you really? Do you? How do you know it? Do they give that to you when you go to the Walmart, the fake blood test that they did on, like, you remember that? Have you seen that episode of the fake blood? What, like, thing that you, with that young lady from the Bay Area, and she made up the fake uh, diabetes results, made a billion dollars, was on mad money, like, buy her stock! And then they were like, mm -hmm. it goes up hundreds of dollars, and it was all fake? That lady? Yeah. I'll, yeah, I, so. I'll dig up her name and post. We'll flash it right at the bottom so you guys can all know who to hate personally for being an evil yeah. woman. So it, it's it's real stuff, man. What, what, what scares people and what brings people into paranoia is the fact that I think it's just because of the unknown. And to like for people to blame it on one end – like, people are blaming it on Trump, and then Trump people are blaming it on Obama. I think we're to blame as Americans because we, we we basically ignored central disease. You know, I'm By the way, I'm in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm, I'm in Torrance, California. Uh, Davey used to live here in California, and then he got run out by all the homeless, dirty people. Or left willingly. <laughs> I'm not sure which, but uh, it's, yeah. it's a lot of people are in that same boat right now. And that was yeah, before well, all of this, before we're all stuck inside. Uh, yeah, it's, I, but I, I think what I was saying, though, is what's interesting to me is because we, we've had, like, in all seriousness, we've had different diseases like the swine flu, uh, other things, Ebola, but this is the first one to massively, I mean, swine flu hit us pretty hard, but nobody was really talking about it. And so I think this is in an age when we have social media, all this, the, 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 the biased news on both sides, the Republican side, I think it, it, it caused, like, I think it's causing hysteria, but like, you, I'd rather just be cautious now. But, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I went and bought a bunch of groceries because I thought, like, I was like, man, if I don't buy groceries now, uh, there won't be groceries here tomorrow, the way people are shopping. And it's, I, I see. I foresaw all this happening. I went last week, and when there was, like, a mild rush, last week was when, like, you saw the pipe about to burst, and there was those, like, few little drips coming through. Like, I was one of those drips. I'm like, okay, let me get to – in my case, Smart and Final, a West Coast brand. I'm not sure where that is around the country. But it's like it's for those mid-level restaurants can shop there. There's a lot of bulk items. And immediately I saw, you know, like your beans, your rice, all of those just being depleted. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I haven't made rice at home in 
ever really is. So let me just go ahead and get 10 pounds just in case. Uh, the water thing I felt bad about because I, in my household, we just have a basket full of water bottles, it's like right next to our microwave. That's just how we do the water here at the Sheezer household. So I needed to replenish that anyway. So I've got my two, I usually get the two 35 packs. That's a lot. So now I look like I'm losing my shit just because I'm re-upping my regular water supply anyway. The guy behind me saying some soft stuff under his breath about the, 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 the outbreak and everything. And I'm like, and I'm not going to yell at the guy, but I'm just saying in my head, I'm like, yeah, I guess technically I am kind of getting some stuff, but I'm not, I'm not losing. I don't want to give the perception that I'm losing my shit like everyone did a few days ago. On um, what I'll say that will go down as the real official Black Friday. Screw any sort of shopping in November. That Friday, the, uh, it was Friday the 13th of 2020, March, Friday the 13th. That will forever be the worst shopping day. In the most memorable shopping day in the history of America, where the shelves rang empty all across this great land, from Washington to Bowling Green to Los Angeles to Kansas City. Yeah, no, it, it was it, 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 here March twelfth, man. It was we already had like we had no eggs and all that stuff on the shelf, so I was just grabbing stuff. I don't even know what half the stuff I have in my kitchen. Um, but I, what I'm saying is. What what are we going to do, okay, when this curbs or goes away, what are we going to do as a society? How are we going to react? How are we going to make this a better situation next time? Because we are we going to forget it, or are we going to like, okay, we need to, because it's just not America. Like, like people are just bringing up Europe, but Iran's affected. We don't say that much, but Iran's affected because we don't want to, like sound like we're Iran, but it's a country that's affected. So are we going to actually put away our trivial stuff? Um, uh, from a, a standpoint, oh, I'm sorry. There you are. So yeah, you're saying just, like, yeah, we've hated you for 40 right? years. We still hate you, but here's, here's some humanitarian aid or you know, something to that effect. You're just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, or just how we treat each other in this country. I mean, is, is it going to, or are we going to, instead of, like, we can go back and forth. Um, people that, like, the people that yell about climate change, and this is, this is what, what irritates me. I'm willing to listen to you, but not if you have uh, a Prius or a Tesla. And, like, here's the reason. Like, you, you say, oh, I'm saving the environment. I'm not buying fossil fuels. But here's the reality is they don't know how to dispose of those batteries. So, like, you're not really doing much better. And not everybody can afford those cars. And we shouldn't look at you like evil people, and you shouldn't look down on middle America, if that makes sense. We should be more bonded. And those going to be people? Yes. Do I think that? people are capitalizing on. I don't think it's a conspiracy. I just think we we don't handle, we're such a world market now, more than we've ever been for imports and out, like exports and all that stuff. I was thinking about it today. It was like, instead of it being a society of, oh, that's a whole, we've been doing it this way for 100 years. But if you think, if you use that mentality, we'd still have rotary phones. And me and John would not be doing this podcast. I, in my mind, this is like okay. This is what I have to do as an American. I'm not afraid, but like my personal wanting to go out and drink, or my personal wanting to go to the Waffle House, is kind of on hold a little bit because that's just you know. And I'm not saying not go to work or do any of that stuff. I'm just saying that leisure belief that we once had has to be put on hold, not just for your own benefit, but to actually care about your neighbors and your fellow Americans and the fellow people of this world. I mean, that most people don't care. They, they'll say they hate people, but then you'll see those that person that says they hate people, and he'll take eight shots from somebody at the bar. It's totally contradicting who he is. That means you're a horrible person. And 
But that's what I'm saying. Even if you're a horrible person, it's a chance for you to be a better person. You know? And that's that's what I'm just trying to tell people in this whole thing is like I'm not the best person in the world. I know I'll acknowledge that, but and I'm no expert. But the way this is going and I'm not making any predictions, I'm not an expert, but uh by the time this gets up, or whenever it gets up, I think it'll be up on Tuesday, and whenever it is up, um, there's going to be banned state by state tra uh, travel. It, I, I think that's actually going to happen because, like, if you're following anything in the world, people are like, "Well, America isn't going to do that." Well, we've already started closing. We're closing all the schools in most of the states. They close the schools in Kentucky. There's also no, but they when they say they're canceling it. There's no. They say three weeks because they want to give people hope, but there's really no end date on it. If if this if this climbs, which it might because certain people want to be selfish or whatever, um, you know. You know, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I'm not, like, you know who I am. I'm not, I'm not liberal or any of that stuff. I'm in the middle of the road, man. Like, I don't, I don't want to, like, I hate when the liberals are trying to blame this on Trump. And I'm like, you're, you were there too. Like, you've been there too. And we've, if you, like, last six or seven, I haven't put money in the CDC, uh, which is whatever that is, uh, uh, central disease control or whatever. Center um, for Disease Control, Atlanta. Yeah. Shout out to Atlanta. What's up? Yeah, I mean that's that's. I don't know. I'm not claiming to be an expert on it. I'm just saying that like. Davey's not an expert. I'm the expert. So disregard any opinion he has. No, you're not an expert. It's like, I think that that's the unknown, and like because. We used to just have one narrative of what was going on. And what the scary thing is, there's so much, for me personally, the scary thing is there's so many people giving you information now that you really can't decipher what's real and what's not real. I think that's the scariest thing. Um, yeah, because you're getting, you, you'll read or hear one thing and then you, you'll read or hear the next thing that contradicts half the stuff you just read. And it's like, is it airborne? Is it through touch? Oh no, it's, it's more through touch. No, it's more through airborne. Oh no, it's going to be two weeks. Oh no, it's going to be six months. I mean, ultimately just wash your hands. Just if you need to drink that badly, go over to your aunt, go over to your cousin's house. Just don't go over to your friend's house. Don't just don't go down to the bar. The, there's going to have to be some federal aid for all for business for everyone's rent coming up. That's like yeah. check to ch month to month. I know uh, yeah. a lot of people, myself included, that are more more likely going to be affected financially through this. And so ultimately, yeah. what it's going to it's just going to be a hard next probably couple of years. Everyone just stacking away, repaying, rebuilding their savings, whatever that's going to yeah. happen over the next few months. Um, you know, mm -hmm. financially, but that's where the government's going to step in stimulus package or whatever. They're going to have to cover our ass, which is ironic. Maybe I don't always get the definition of irony correctly, but that everyone's shitting on Bernie Sanders and that ultimately there's going to need to be some sort of Bernie Sanders, which I'm no huge supporter of, by the way. But that type of plan is going to have to be implemented here just to get America back up on its feet. Uh, hopefully nothing extreme. Hopefully everything's just just fine, but I don't know when you're watching this. And as of today, when we're recording this on the 15th of March, 2020, it looks like there might be some sort of huge quarantine as it, there is right now in Italy and in Spain. And I'm sure should be coming soon in a lot of other places. Well, I'm just going to say this, and we're going to end it on this. Be thoughtful and be considerate. Don't put your needs... And I'm not talking food or any of that stuff. I'm I'm talking like cancel your party time and be thoughtful of other Americans. Because like, and I'm not trying to be your parent or whatever, but that just shows that you care about people. And and like, 
like I said, people are talking about healthy immune systems, and but in the reality, nobody knows what their immune system can take in, take out. It doesn't matter who, who you are. I mean, if everybody knew what their immune system could do, I mean, there's certain people that can fight off cancer cells, I believe, and stuff like that. And then there's certain people that can't. And that's how you have to approach it. Or like, what trips people out about me, like, because I work out in the Nashville scene, so the other night when I did the club or whatever, somebody asked me where I live in Nashville, and I said, no, I live in Bowling Green. And they're like, that's an hour away. I'm like, well, that's nothing. An hour and no traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, that is nothing. You're right. Uh, yeah, because you, you put it in perspective. It took me 40, 30, sometimes to drive up to the store, it took me 35 minutes, and I live four miles away. So, like, it's like, you know, so it's like you, um, life is fat, slower, but trying to get some things going here, trying to create some things, and uh, like doing this podcast this way, because I enjoy doing it this way. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I like for me, it's like I watch YouTube videos and do all that fun stuff, but uh, I want people to see that I actually give a shit, if that makes sense, instead of just listening to me. Uh, some of the subjects that we're going to cover on this is my hatred for conspiracy theorists. That's next week. So, get, we'll get triple on. yeah, uh, you know, what. Well, what I really feel, and then anything I hate. I mean, John, John learned, like, it's weird seeing certain things out there in the world, man. Like, it's a, it's a different world that we live in. We live in the 1890s with TV now. You know, basically, no professional sports, all that stuff. So, for right now. But, yeah, everything's a blessing. I've dodged three tornadoes. Three tornadoes. Uh, we had been there a month already, morning. a couple natural disasters, a pandemic, uh, you know, you're yeah. how's the hair doing? Not bad. I'm worried I'm losing a lot well, of Well, I mean I mean But we'll worry about oh, that yeah. over the But yeah, I, I like I like I like this format though. And with all the a lot of the uh clubs being put on hiatus here over the next couple of weeks, um you know, I figure we both have comedy entertainment itches to scratch, so we're just gonna we're gonna do this. Um and, yeah. And then probably once everything picks back up to normal, continue it. Because, you know, Davey's a dear friend of mine, and he's over 2,000 miles away. It's a whole nother world in uh, Bowling it's Green. It's not a whole nother world. It's, it's, whole... It's, 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 it's Kentucky. I'm yeah, looking it's, outside right now. It's, it's not, 64. Yeah, it's, 64. Yeah, I mean, to people in L.A., they'd be like the, the guy that watched Patrick Swayze a little too much, and the next to Kim would be disappointed. But I'm not disappointed. It's not a bunch of people sitting on banjos. We have Walmarts and all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, I mean, there is there is civilization here. It just there's no sports teams, so that's fine. Is it, is it Owensboro that's north of you, or Owensburg? What town north of you? Is it Owensburg, north of Bowling Green? Uh, Owensboro. Owensboro. Just for the record, the Bluegrass Hall of Fame is in that city 30 miles away from you so all the banjos are being sat on just north of where you live that's why you don't see it well, happening I mean, uh, yeah no i see the banjos at the band i'm not i'm not well i'm trying not yeah, to like, like, like <laughs> you're defeated okay tell you what that this is i don't even know what this is going to be called we'll just be like john and davy davy and john whatever it is but yeah no i, I like that your kids are driving you bonkers right now because they're not at school. So have fun with that. I don't. I don't know. Join a Pi Vista kids group. I think Gabby's got going on. Davy's uh, manager slash promotions specialist, Gabby. Uh, but guys, uh, thank you for sticking with us. I don't even know how. Whatever minute this looked at, whatever minute fifteen for. Anyway, I had a good time. Yeah. I got some things off my chest, not as much as Davey, because he, you know, he's just, yeah, I'm a ramble. All right, guys, thank you. Um, do not share this with anyone. Don't send this to anyone. This is for you and you. Send it like it. 
send it, share it, like it, man. Right. Uh, just, I mean, it could be worse. I could be listening to have ear pods on or whatever, listening to music, and you just see my Facebook. Not saying names, but I did see it one time, and I was like, I all right, this, well, yeah, I'm not, and I know the dude. He's excited about the apocalypse, and he's always talked about how he wants an apocalypse, so he's kind of got a mini one right now. So the main important thing is you and I are closer as friends now, so all right, goodbye. Enjoy Kentucky. See you in a couple days. Yeah, see you. Peace, man.